coalface was right, and a thirst for revenge can turn a man into a demon and keep the dead alive. And this man on fire who's been coming after us ever since... What's left of our old friend, Volgan? I barely recognize you, Colonel. Skullface used your thirst for revenge against Big Boss, did he? Stay back. It's too dangerous. Hey. Back up, kid. I said no. You have to stay back. Some things can't be helped. Back to your quarters. What's going on? Shabani. Mayaka Nine Kingo Ya. Shabani. It's down there. Hey. The tank at the bottom is filled with chlorine disinfectant. One whiff and you'll suffocate. Don't even. Could you let it fall down there anyway?
It is over. Boss! Hey! Listen to me! There is no way to recover the body. you retrieve from Emmerich's research facility. Guess what we found inside? A corpse. Human. The pod maintained a low internal temperature the whole time, and very little outside air got in. That would have slowed down decomposition. Still, the remains were mostly skeletal. Estimated time of death is between six months and a year ago. We put the screws to Huey about it. Listen to the tape. Fine. Yes. Strange Love was doing AI research in that lab. Why hide that until now? Why? Okay, so what? I wasn't working alone. You've got to understand. You do understand, right? I didn't want to drag her into this. It's my load to bear, alone. So you didn't create the AI intended to drive Sahelanthropus. It was Strange Love. Skullface was never in favor of AI control. So, naturally, they argued. Strange Love, she... She got him angry, and then... He killed her. How? You didn't see it? So you found her inside that pot after the fact. And you just left her body to rot in there. Or perhaps you put her in there afterward. I... I... I asked him not to take her away from me. So she was killed by Skullface, but you asked nicely, and he put her body in the AI pod for you. That's right. Pathetic. You know, we have another idea. That you killed her. What, me? I couldn't kill her. You killed her and locked her body in the pod. I wouldn't. Don't treat me like one of you. I, I can't just kill anyone whenever I feel like it. Okay, okay, I see it's a painful memory. You don't have to answer, just listen to the question. <sighs> you see, we examined her remains. She had a scar on her lower abdomen, a surgical scar. It had been stitched up and had fully healed, meaning it was long before her death. She had a child, didn't she? I... Your child. Where's the kid? How should I know? So there is a child. I've... never seen his face. What do you take us for? They took it all. Even my child. I didn't even know he'd been born. I... I... 
lost everything. How old would he be? It's four years since then. And you know it's a boy. Strange Love said so. And his name? We called him Hal, even though I never saw his face. <laughs> up to her name. How about you drop the act? Who infected you with a parasite? We can't let her talk. Put it back. All I want's a name. That won't trigger anything. Tell me. Tell me! Your lungs have been barbecued. This traces of rubbing alcohol in your alveoli. This was found adhered to your lungs, intact. A petal, white star of Bethlehem. The hospital. Skullface sent you to Cyprus to kill Snake. You were burned inside and out. That should have been the end of it. But, all things considered, you look pretty damn healthy to me. We have Skullface to thank for that, right? I was the only one capable of applying them to parasite therapy until he stole them from me. Why are you here? Did Skullface send you? Or did you have your own score to settle with the boss? Refreshing? Salt water. No! She'll die! This life isn't yours to take. Enough. That's enough. If she wanted to kill the boss, he'd already be dead. Same goes for us. She's had plenty of chances. She can't talk. She's not here to kill anyone. I'm wasting your time. It doesn't matter why she's here. She works for you now. She's in love with the legend. What makes you so sure? I was the same way once. <laughs> 